Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will compare CG100X and Xtool Diagnostic Tester. I make this video because you request to see the difference between the CG100 and uh, you are asking me about this Xtool Diagnostic and also about uh, the Smoke Diagnostic but I will make a separate video and I will show you what are the difference between these programmers because on the market we have a lot of uh, programmers and at this time you don't know which one is better, which one you should buy which one worth for his money. I try to explain you, I try also to tell you from my experience, I try to uh, show you the difference between these programmers and also to make you to don't pay so much money because this is most important, you know, to make good job for good value. From here we move to the software, let's close this one. I have both of the softwares here. Okay, on the left side I have the software from CG100, on the right side you notice already we, we have the Xtool, it's uh, not so hard to know which one is which. Before to start uh, the softwares, what I want to tell you, both of them make good job. The Xtool, in my opinion, is the king of the mileage correction. You don't have another programmer better than Xtool. This is only my opinion, you can have different opinions, you have a lot of programmers, but from what I saw on the menu, it's amazing what you have here, you know. I know you have on the market uh, different uh, tablets and different uh, programmers. Of course, they are also good, but from what I know, this is a Polish company, the Xtool. It's in, from Poland, made in Poland. Similar with uh, Smoke, they are really good. I mine on the mileage correction and airbags, they are really good. The interface looks similar with CarFrog, if you pay attention here. Okay. But at this moment, I don't believe worth anymore to buy CarProg because the last update, if I don't make a mistake, it was in 2019 from CarProg. I don't know why they stopped to make updates. I don't know what happens with the company. It was a great programmer, but they stopped to make updates. Then. And if they don't make good job, you should also go to another options. Before to uh, start and show you the difference between these two programmers, let's show you the price because I'm sure you are so interesting to see the price. Okay, this is the Xtool. They have a special price now. This is good, very good price. If you have to deal with mileage correction and you make money from this one, you program the dashboards and everything, it's a great job. I'm not against the mileage correction, but my opinion is to make everything fair, you know, to be everything legal. I mean, I know there are cars who have more mileage correction. I know maybe you have a car who have lower mileages and you buy I use dashboard and have more mileages and of course you should adjust to the real one. But those who make this job, they should request from the customer the less technical inspection and this is the most professional way how you can do it, you know, because you cannot put less kilometer than one year earlier, you know, when the car it was on the technical inspection. But this is a different story, okay? At this moment the interface is black, but it's also, you find it also on this color. It's also the website where they sell the programmer. You notice we have in this color. As I said, it was similar with CarProg, but they changed after they had the color and the design. Okay, let's go back to here. We have all these adapters. If you want to try and see, you can uh, download the demo version. Okay, and you'll see maybe much more than what I will show you now because I don't have so much time to show you 100% uh, these uh, options. And another one, it is CG100X. On his price, at this moment, I believe it's uh, one of the best programmer also on the market. Maybe VVDI can compete with this one. We go also here. You see it comes with these adapters. If you have it, the old uh, connection, you should replace with a new one. I am sure it was a mistake there and they will replace you for free. You will only pay for the post, for the shipping. And these are the websites from where you can buy. I don't uh, have money from them, just I want to show you. It uh, doesn't matter from where you buy, it's not my problem. Okay, now let's start to compare these programmers because video will be too long if I will speak so much. First of all, let's go to the dashboard. Okay, and also here, let's select the dashboard. Alpha, let's go on European, 
we have only this type you notice here we have much more options okay we have Audi okay and definitely we have much more options here here we have it only the older versions on car line okay let's move to BMW we have Mercedes This is quite new. Okay, we have Citroen. Let's see also the can. It's not bad. For this option here, you should pay extra if I don't make a mistake on the X2 and uh, CG100 is for free okay let's go also a little bit on American models Chevrolet we have also Asian cars Mazda Thousand ten, and here we have two thousand sixteen. I do believe the X will have much more options. Like I said, it's it's not bad. Okay, let's go back. Let's move to airbags. Let's go first to European. Okay, we go on Audi first and Audi here. Are similar. Okay, let's move to BMW.
this one starts with this serial number and this one is this You still have more uh, issues over here. Look how many there are on, on pressure. Unbelievable. Preno. Hmm. Okay, let's try to find also a few American models. It's a huge list from both of the sides, it's unbelievable. Okay, in my opinion, definitely the X will have much more issues. Let's try also to see what we have here. This is an extra option. Okay, and we still have this one here. This is true OBD. Okay, that's it with uh, Airbag. Let's go back. What we have more, we have the ECU. Let's try also to see the ECU models. Here we have BMW, E-series and F-series, and R, this one mini. You notice this is the type of the MCU, it's 21, then 1796, then 97, 1797, okay. And here we have this one, it's bench, bench. This one is true OBD, also OBD. There are older issues, but you have it also through OBD, the possibility to read this one. OK. 
okay top psg this is the pump this is not bad this is really good on this option again the x tool perform much better okay we have the bcm bcm we don't have it here This is the FRM module, and if I don't make a mistake, I saw it here. Maybe this is the BCM, this issue calc. Yes, this looks like a BCM options from here we have it here the option from here what i see it's similar with uh, cg100 i'll make also comparing between the cg100 and this one back and we have a K programmer here only BMW then CAS 1, 2, 3 and 4 and also Land Rover have the same like BMW similar one and here we have only Mercedes Then let's say it's a plus for CG100. Okay. Go back and we go to programmer. And here we have the EEPROM. And let's go also here. We have car radio here. This is something what we don't have it on uh, CG company. Yeah, overall it's a good programmer. I said again, it's uh, of course it's much more expensive. Look again on the price, and you'll see this one would cost you 550, let's say like that, and this one is more than double. It's almost three times the price of the CG100X. If you are a professional, in my opinion, go for this one. You have much more options. In my opinion, it's clear the X tool is much better than CG100X. You have much more options and uh, of course the price is not the same for cg 100 x i believe it's also the price it's around 150 euro 180 euro every year the x tool is much more expensive if you want to make the update if you don't make the updates you can run with the software what uh, you have it downloaded at the list when you buy the programmer and you can still use the software on the CG100. Also, you can use the software, the older version. But like, for example, here on this program where they will block you the access to this one. Okay, to the newest options to read. Everything where you see this sign, if you don't have the updates paid, you are not able to do it. Okay. Okay, before to close the video, I will tell you I make a comparing also between the CG100X and CG100 because I believe it's much more interesting to show you what is the difference between these two programmers. It's from the same company and why you should pay the money or why you should don't pay the money and uh, keep the oldest one. If you want to ask me something, you can leave me a comment below. I hope you like the video and like always, thank you for watching. Bye bye.